Everybody, welcome back to yet another video. As you can see here, we got another hard drive as usual, and uh, this was my personal one for around four years. Okay, so this is a Seagate, one terabyte. It's the ST. All right, let me try to focus. ST 1000DM003, and the problem with it is that you put it into the computer. And it never detects, uh, <clears throat> it kind of hangs the computer on the BIOS and you can't really access the drive unless it's kind of warmed up. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that and I'm also going to show you how to uh, partially fix it, at least to try to get your data back. So I'm going to plug it into my computer and I'm going to show you what it does. So it is plugged in into the computer and the SATA cables are plugged in all the way so I'm not sitting there I'm gonna turn on the computer and I'm gonna show you what it does because it's fairly interesting and I'm gonna place the microphone there I'm gonna show you the sound that it makes And as you can see, the computer is not booting, it's stuck trying to detect that hard drive. It detected the, um, the DVD drives, but not the hard drive, so I'm going to turn off the computer. So if you have dropped it, it's a pretty bad sign, it pretty much means that probably the heads are damaged, but this one has never been dropped, so that's not the case. So I'm going to show you now how to fix it. I'm going to unplug it. Or actually, I could just uh, remove the cables and show you what to do. I'm just going to flip it over. And I'm going to show you what you have to do to sort of bring it back to life for a short, peri short period of time. I'm going to try to explain here what I think uh, is the issue. Something in this PCB, uh, probably the, the controller chip has gone bad. And I have seen many hard drives uh, of this model that have this issue. So one way to fix it is to sort of heat it up with something. Because I have uh, noticed that back in the day when I was using this, uh, I had to like let the computer uh, on for like 5 to 10 minutes and then it would work again. So I got a hair dryer and uh, don't put it on high, put it on medium and heat it up a little bit on the PCB. And I know what you're thinking, this probably reminds you of the, the GPU hitting thing, but uh, it's probably not the same thing. Just leave it there for a little bit. A little bit more. It did warm up a little bit, so now I'm gonna reconnect it on the computer and I'm gonna show you that it will work. Here's the data cable and this is the power. So I'm gonna put the mic there again and uh, press the power button on the computer. Okay, struggled there a little bit, but I think that, um, okay, that's, <clears throat> Irrelevant, I guess, but look at that. SATA 4 has been detected. It's a ST1000 uh, DM003, as you can see. If we go there, it is detected, and I'm gonna try to boot off of it. So my computer rebooted because I saved the BIOS configuration, and the BIOS is no longer stuck.
and we should go into win yep okay so it doesn't have the proper drivers because I also changed my video card because my other one broke but uh, it does work so let's log in Mmm, I forgot how slow this thing really was. It's really slow. Yep, painfully slow. That's probably my fault for filling up the whole entire drive though. There's that. And it takes five years, but it does work. Claims to be 100% perfect. Let's go to smart. This, this thing kind of works now enough that you will be able to grab your files before it dies for good. Uh, I'm not sure if this will work for a 1.5 terabyte or a 2 terabytes. You know, maybe. If they use the same kind of controller or a similar controller, probably. Uh, but I know for good that this does work on the SD1000 DM003. It may work even on the 002 or the 001, I'm not sure. But at least on this one, it does work. And I have tr done it uh, like a couple of times in the past where my computer wouldn't start and I had to actually do the same trick to get it working. But. Um, Eventually I upgraded to an SSD and a WD one terabyte, so I don't have any problems like this anymore. But yeah, hope this was helpful to you. I hope that I helped somebody get their data out of one of these. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.